Hi everyone, this is James from F9 Audio and the Freemasons and welcome to this quick tutorial showing you how to install the additional grooves for Ableton and for Logic. Now hopefully by now you will have downloaded our zip file and when you unpack it you get this resulting folder. Open it up and there's three other folders inside. This is a Logic template containing a song for both Logic 9 and for Logic X and these two folders which we're going to be using in Ableton. Now just a quick word about the actual groove names. Machine is a trademark of Native Instruments and MPC is a trademark of Akai. So to keep everyone happy, I've called the Machine Grooves Berlin Grooves and the Akai Grooves Red. Why Red? Well the Japanese word for Red is Akai. Okay, so let's get these grooves installed and it's dead easy to do inside of Ableton. Uh, we're going to use Live's internal browsing system. So I'm just going to come over to the left here on Live 8 and click on any one of these three folder icons that will take me into the browsing system. If you're not already in the library, um, whatever it says here at the top, click on the black triangle and select the library. And uh, there's the grooves folder that we're after. Um, you can see the built-in grooves are already in there, so I'm just going to now resize the window a little bit and get to our F9 audio grooves. I'm going to select both um, the red and the Berlin grooves and literally just drag and drop them onto the grooves folder. And that's it. They are now permanently installed in Live 8 and you can always access them at any point by coming to the library and actually grabbing one of the grooves and either dropping it onto a MIDI part or if you come down here to the groove selection tab open the groove pool and you can just drop a variety of different grooves into the groove pool and they will become selectable here in uh, the groove menu. Now just a quick word about the differences between machine swings and MPC. The two systems are actually set up quite differently. In MPC speak, 50% equals no swing applied and as you move forward from 50%, 51%, 52%, 53% for example, the swing becomes more apparent. With machine, zero is no no swing applied and as you move forward one percent two percent three percent the swing becomes more apparent and more acute it can be confusing at first but it's dead easy to get your head around and for more information on swing its uses and its history come and check out the set of three tutorial videos that we have at f9-audio.com covering all of swing Okay, so let's now do the same in Live 9. And it's a slightly different process this time because the preset grooves of Live 9 are locked away in the core library. So we're going to use the user library that you can access here um, just in the places section of the browser. And you can see the groove folder and it's twirled down, there's nothing inside it. So I'm just going to resize the window once again, grab our two F9 groove folders and then just drop them into there. And it once again is that simple. These are now installed for any single song that you're working on in Live 9. Now I'm just going to twirl down a few here. I've got a very simple drum pattern just to illustrate how they're working. And let's grab one of the grooves and just place it on both MIDI parts. I'm going to use the groove selector here as well. And there we go, a perfect machine groove has now been applied to the MIDI. I can go higher in swing value. And as with Live 8, let me quickly show you the groove pool again. If I click on this small icon here, the groove pool pops up and I can drag any number of grooves that I fancy into the pool. And then when I select any part on the actual arrange page or on the session view, in the parameters box for that region, the grooves that I've just popped in are now available down here to select and apply. Okay, so let's now head on over to Logic and I'll show you how to get these grooves installed. Now, Logic works very, very differently to Ableton in that any grooves are actually only held on a per song basis. So in other words, there is no global groove pool that you can select from. The song actually has to contain the MIDI information of the actual groove. Now, that can be a little bit problematic because you've probably built yourself a startup template or you're using one of the built-in templates that come with Logic. But let's dive straight in and I'll show you exactly how to get around this. Now I'm going to use Logic 9 first, so I'm going to open the F9 Audio Logic Groove template for, uh, for version 9 of Logic. And here it is. The only difference from a normal startup page is on the left hand side where the quantize functions are, you'll see the red grooves and the Berlin grooves all set up and ready for action. And just so you understand some of the processes within Logic, let me show you how I've done it. Just above the track list, there's a small H icon, and currently it's orange. That means it's hiding certain tracks. If I click on it, it will turn green and will show all of the tracks that are hidden. 
To hide any tracks, I just have to click on any of the H's that now appear in the track list. It's actually a folder, and if I click inside it, you'll see all of the individual MIDI files that make up the different grooves. Now this is what I mean about on a per song basis. The actual MIDI must exist on a song page for you to be able to select it, come to the quantize menu and make a groove template. Now of course you could just start programming straight from this page. That's exactly what it's designed for. But more often than not, you're probably gonna be using your own template. So let's create a new file. I'm gonna close this one. Don't worry about saving it. And in Logic 9, this window appears, allowing you to select certain templates. Now there's some presets built in, so if you have a favorite and you'd like to add the grooves to that, then let me show you how to do it. So I'm gonna use this empty project, and I'm just gonna create one track here. And now let's import the grooves from the template you've downloaded from F9 Audio. We're going to use Logic's media browser, so if it's not open, click this media button so you get the media lists. We're gonna go into the browser tab, and now just navigate to the position on your filing system where the F9 Groove folder is. So here's the folder we're after on my desktop, the F9 Audio Grooves. I'm gonna open that by double clicking on it. And then I'm gonna open the Logic Template folder and you'll see there's just one Logic song in there and it's for version nine and it's got all of the Groove templates inside it. So what we need to do is copy part of the internal content of that song into the actual song that we're working on at the moment. To do that, double click on the song and instead of opening it, it will open the contents of that actual page so that we can import certain sections. We want this grooves track and we're going to select this checkbox to import that actual content. Come down here to the bottom and click the add button. Now that has now copied the grooves folder and all of the contents, including the MIDI files, into this blank song. Now you can see that the quantize menu doesn't have the grooves in there currently. So select all of the MIDI files and click on the quantize field here and right at the bottom of the list of quantize options you'll find make groove template. Now all of the grooves are available. So let's just tidy up and hide this folder so that we can't delete it. Because if you should delete this folder at any point, if you're using any of the grooves throughout your song, the grooves will suddenly disappear. So this is the safest way. I'm gonna to toggle on the hide track view, and then I'm gonna click on the H icon that's actually on the grooves track. Now when I press the hide view switch again, the track will actually disappear. It's actually still there, it's just hidden from view, and of course all the grooves are still available in the quantize list. Now the best thing to do is to save it actually out as a template. And you can do that from the file menu, save as template, and we'll just call this F9 Grooves Startup. Now if I want to start a new track and use those grooves, all I've got to do is hit the new button in the file menu. We'll close this old one. And as soon as this comes up, go to my templates, and there we go, F9 Grooves Startup. And there it is a brand new song, but with all of these new grooves contained within it. So now let me show you exactly the same thing inside of Logic X. So let's come to our F9 Audio Grooves folder, into the Logic Templates, and we'll just quickly boot the Logic Template for Logic X. Uh, there we go, exactly the same as the one before, and once again, there's our grooves. But of course, you're gonna want them in your own template. So here's one of the templates from Logic X, and let's say you want to add these grooves to this template. If you click on the Quantize menu, you'll see it's just the standard Logic Quantize. We want to add these grooves. So I'm gonna come over to the right-hand side and click on the Browsers button, which will open up the browser system that's quite similar to the one that we've just seen in Logic 9. I'm gonna click on the All Files tab. That will take me through to a standard browser, and now I'm gonna navigate once again to the position that I've got the F9 Audio Grooves folder. It's on my desktop, there it is click through, there's the logic folder. And if I just move this bit over here, you can see that this is the template for Logic X. So if I double click on that, it will show the contents, it won't actually open the song. And once again, there's our grooves track. So click on the checkbox to add that particular content, click on the add button, and it's in again. Um, double click on the actual folder, and we'll just close this tab down so we can see what we're up to and we'll get rid of those controls as well. And there's all our MIDI files. So let's just draw a box around them all or hit Apple A to select them all. And then exactly the same procedure. Come over to the quantize box here, click on it, and at the bottom you'll see Make Groove Template. The moment you've done that, all of the grooves become available as extra quantize options. So let's just get out of this folder by double clicking on the background. Now we're going to want to tidy up a bit and just hide this track and once again protect it so we can't accidentally delete it. 
Uh, but as you'll see here, there's no high track button. It's one of Logic X's slight peculiarities. So I'm just going to select the track in the track list, come up to the track menu at the top, and select high track. The moment I do that, the H button is back. And as I say, I can now select any number of tracks that I'd like to remove just from view on the Arrange page and toggle the hide track function on and off. So that's it. That's how you import the grooves into any given template and then you can save it out as a template. And once again, F9 grooves start. And that will always be available to me at any point if I want to start a new song from the actual template list. It's in my templates. There we go. So I hope you find these grooves useful. They will allow you to natively quantize parts inside of Logic or Ableton to the exact quantize grids of either Native Instruments Machine or the MPC series. We found them over the years to be lifesavers and we're very happy to present them to you now. For more tutorials, come and join us at f9-audio.com and we'll see you next time.